Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a while back, I made a video about a, cutting out an item or an object that would not fit in your laser bed. And I did it with the razor tool. And just this morning, somebody suggested making a couple of puzzle parts. And if it wouldn't work better, and it, I really think it would. Now, this isn't the best scenario for everything. You know, this is something it wouldn't look very good. Uh, even the line through the middle if you did the old way. But if this is something you're going to sand and paint and you know, all the lines would be filled in. Now one thing you always got to consider on something like this, in, on this shape you could actually rotate it and get it to fit in your laser bed. So that's one thing you always got to think about first because that would be the best scenario. But we're going to create this right here and do it in just a few minutes and it's pretty easy and it would hold together and, and especially if you were doing like two layers or back in you know if this was a backer board for something else so we're going to take the state of texas or any shape and i'm going to draw a line right through the middle just with my two-point line then i'm going to come over here and i'm going to draw a circle doesn't matter what size it is, and put it about right there. I'm going to draw a box, a rectangle about that size, and put it pretty close to the middle. And, and if you were doing this for real, I would uh, take the time and make sure it was even and everything. But to save time on the video, then select both those items and weld them. Now you can go and take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now we need one just like that on the other side. And what I would suggest is do it opposite. So control D and make a duplicate of it. Holding down your control button, it'll stay on that line and put it wherever you think. Let's zoom in here. Grab the top of it. Holding down your control button, it'll bring it to the bottom. And then all you have to do is delete that one line. I'll go ahead and delete these lines. It's not really necessary. We'll go ahead and delete the done one so you can see what's going on. Now I'm going to take my smart fill tool or my yeah smart fill tool and I want to fill it in with red for the video just so you can see it. And I'm going to, the smartest thing to do is this thing is like 40 inches, so I'm going to change my nudge distance to 42 inches. And I'm going to take my new color field, I'm going to move it over. Now I'm going to get the Smart Field tool, I'm going to fill it in with, uh, let's say yellow this time, and I'm going to move it over. There are your two pieces, let's just delete this. So this you could take in your laser bed, and I just colored them in so you could see what it would look like. Just take it into your laser bed and put no fill and put a hairline and then you could cut that out and do the same thing for this and just run it in two different jobs and then when it's cut out it would match up together and just a little side note if you wanted to match these up together right now the best way to do it is kind of get it close, zoom in, take your pick tool, grab that node right there, and it is going to snap to that other node. So that's what it's going to look like. So that's how to make something, cut out something that's bigger than your laser bed. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.